Chatham University has gone through lots of changes over the years. Back in 1890, you can see it here on the wall. It was known as the Pennsylvania College for Women. Well, the leadership here now says that allowing men as undergraduates might mean someone else will apply here, too. Like they have since 1869, freshman women unpack their bags at Chatham. This year, they have company. Nasir Alexander plays basketball, but he got a full academic scholarship to Chatham. But I'm just excited that I get to, you know, bring Chatham into the front forefront of some news and some things like that to try to get them recognition because they took their time to recognize me. The university president says the decision opens Chatham's doors to more than just men. One is a group of young men who wouldn't have been able to be here as undergraduates, but and a group of young women who would not have come if it was a single sex institution. There was pushback from some alumni wishing to keep the university female only, but Chatham's Board of Trustees and its president saw enrollment steadily declining, and market research indicated going co ed would turn things around. Chatham freshmen have different reasons for choosing this university. I think um, it focuses on women's leadership still, and there's no reason why we can't include men like knowing about women's leadership. So I think that's like really cool. I feel it's a big opportunity to make a legacy for the school and everything, be able to have people walking our other men walking our footsteps. And it was very community oriented. Like I like the small class and everybody remembers your name on campus, so that's really nice. Some of their reasons have nothing to do with gender. This is one of the schools that have my major. I'm going for sustainability and not many campuses have that. Last year at this time there were a little more than five hundred undergraduate students here at Chatham. This year it's about seven hundred. The president of the university would like to see about a thousand here. At Chatham University, I'm Shannon Perrine, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.